Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This is one of my latest splurges purchases. This is a Cub Cadet 54 inch cutting deck. The ZT154. I purchased this from a big box store and um, it's a store I usually deal with, but uh, I hadn't had this thing like two or three days and a bolt came out on the deck and I'll show you where. This bolt is on the front and this is not how it comes. There's just one bolt on here. This is double bolted now and that was per my request. But the, the deck fell down and the back wheels, I was going wide open. So it was coming up like it was gonna flip over me. So. I called Cub Cadet and a guy, he said, no, he said, it would never flip over on you. And I said, well, why do they have bars on the on zero turns if it won't flip over? I said, that's to keep somebody from being crushed. And he said that he was in product testing and there was no way. I said, well, I said, I was the one going up in there, not you. And the place I bought it from, they didn't want to, but they came back, picked it up, fixed it, brought it back. And the deck has not been cutting right. It's about like a blind barber cut. And I've got high spots and I have to go over it and everything. And uh, I cut today with it, as a matter of fact. And uh, I'd called, I cut yesterday and today. And um, I called um, the place I bought it from, their main office. And I talked with a heck of a nice guy. And he said, well, so I had the manager call you. And the manager and I had been through a round on this thing. So the manager did call me today. I'd been cutting with it this morning. And he told me, he said, uh, well, he said, um, if you can get it up here, he said, we'll have it fixed. I said, well, if I get it up there and it ain't fixed, I said, I'm really not gonna be happy. I said, you know, this thing's been a cluster. This guy called me up when I first uh, uh, ordered it, put a deposit on it, and it was on a Saturday. And he's like, hey, can you come pay for it now? Can you come pay for it? You know, and. They're about 30 minutes from me. I said, dude, what's the deal? Why do y'all need the money? So are y'all trying to hit a quota or something? No, 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 but somebody else may get it. But I said, well, somebody else gets it, they get it. I said, you know, I'll go somewhere else. Oh, no, 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 you don't have to do that. And uh, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was about like I was talking with a drug addict. And I said, dude, I said, just forget about it. I said, I'll come up there and get my deposit. So I talked with another manager. She used to be the head manager up there, but she's assistant now. And just so happened, I talked with her about it, and she said, um, I told him he was wrong for the way he handled that, and um, that he needs to make it right with you. So they gave me 10% off. And so the getting it delivered was a quandary. Then when the deck fell off, the guy who had delivered it for me, and I, and I tipped him good. The guy wasn't going to charge me that much. I said, no, dude, I want to you know, put gas in your vehicle or something. And um, he was supposed to come pick it up. Well, the day he's supposed to pick it up at two o'clock, he sends me a text. He says, hey, he said, I'm not gonna be able to make it. And I said, dude, I said, I wish you'd let me know that earlier. I said, I wouldn't have been waiting around here on you all day. And he said, well, I'll try and make it uh, in like a half an hour. I said, no, man. I said, don't worry about trying. I said, I can't wait on a try. I said, I'm not good at that. So anyway, he told them that I had canceled so i showed him all the text messages i said uh here's the text i said uh tell him next time he lies you better do it over the phone and uh so anyway manager called me today and i just told him i said man i'm not gonna be happy with this thing i said it's just been too much and uh he said how about i give you your money back i said i think that's the best thing for all parties involved and cub cadet they did not help any at all and I'm not impressed with them at all. I'm not impressed with their product. But uh, I would never, ever buy anything else, Cub Cadet. And uh, it's, it, there's just everything about them, you know. And the, the guy who I talked with from Cub Cadet said, oh, no, we never get any complaints. I said, Psh. I said, I find that really hard to believe. I said, I think you're just, you know, uh, giving talking points to for your agenda for your product. I said, uh, I said, come look at this one I've got, because I changed the blades in it, sharpened my blades. I've been sharpening blades for about 
at least 40 years, maybe a little bit more. And I know how to sharpen my blades. I still couldn't get this thing to cut right. Something's bent, warped, or I don't know, but I would not advise buying Cub Cadet or any of their products. So take it from my experience and get something else. You may pay a little bit more, but you'll save in the long run. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.